The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, signed a presidential decree by virtue of which he appointed Abdelaziz Khalaf, Director of Cabinet to the Presidency of the Republic, in replacement of Nordin Baghdad Dej, who is to be assigned with other duties. The President also signed a presidential decree nominating Semir Agun as official spokesman of the Presidency. The government rallies or governor's meeting held under the theme economic recovery, regional balance and social justice drew to a close on Sunday in Algiers by recommendations aimed at the fulfillment of the commitments included in the program of the President of the Republic. The closing ceremony was chaired by the Prime Minister, Finance Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman. The main recommendations crowning the meeting should constitute a roadmap for the next period with a view to continuing the implementation of the president's commitments. We are currently regulating all the land, whether tourist, agricultural or industrial. In this context, we shall recover all the land bases allocated and which have not been exploited or were allotted fraudulently. It is high time the land was granted to real investors and that the agricultural land was allotted to those who work it. Our main concern and our main objective are to achieve our food security and also to achieve our health security and guard against price volatility on international markets. Algeria is called today to recover its prestige in terms of food self-sufficiency, especially in cereals. The governors are called upon to ensure that this objective is met which is at the top of our priorities in the economic field in a period not exceeding 18 months. Self-sufficiency and food security are therefore our main priorities, for it is a matter of Algeria's dignity. Several instructions and guidelines were given by the President of the Republic during the meeting, thus constituting a roadmap that the governors are called upon to scrupulously apply. Recommendations from the five workshops where the priority remains for the revision of the national scheme of the territory management. Regarding the investment, the Premier claimed that the public authorities will spare no effort to strengthen it, recalling that tax exemptions to support investment were estimated at 500 billion dinars per year, in addition to tax benefits. He also recalled the finalization of the revision of the new investment law for more flexibility with a view to ending the bureaucracy which has caused the drain of many real investors to foreign countries with respect to tourist expansion areas. Regarding the update of natural disaster resilience plans, Ben Abdurrahman referred to the prospective revision of the 2014 law on the prevention of major risks and disaster management, while proposing to the services of the civil defense to call on volunteers in their training plans for disaster management, especially during school and summer holidays. On another aspect, the Prime Minister announced the presentation at the next government meeting of the Bill on Public-Private Partnership in the Management of Public Infrastructure, which will allow private investors to seize the opportunity to manage the public service. Just as he recalled the revision of the Public Procurement Code, which has no longer remained unfair and whose implementation text will be published before the end of the current year, announcing likewise the opening of workshops for the revision of civil service general status next October. On the sidelines of the 76th session of the UN General Assembly, Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad Minister Amtala Mamra held on Saturday in New York a working session with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, during which they discussed the latest developments in the region, including Algeria's effort to promote peaceful solutions to the crisis in Libya, Mali and the Sahar region, as well as the decolonization of Western Sahara. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres praised Algeria's central and positive role in North Africa and the Sahel region, and aligning his full support for its efforts and initiatives. The 76th session of the UN General Assembly was marked by an intense activity of Algerian diplomacy. A series of bilateral meetings were held by Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad Minister Ramtala Mamra with his counterparts from several UN member countries. During the meeting that the Algerian head of diplomacy had with his Syrian counterpart Faisal al muqtad the two parties reviewed the fraternal relations uniting Algeria and Syria as well as the means to reactivate the bilateral cooperation mechanisms, the situation in the Middle East and the prospects for the revival of the joint Arab action.
During his meeting with his Mauritanian counterpart, Ismail Wilde Sheikh Ahmed, Ramdan Amamra discussed the mine developments at the Maghreb and continental levels, the privileged fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries and peoples, and the ways and means to strengthen them. It was also agreed to accelerate the pace for the visit to Algeria as soon as possible of President Mohamed Wilde Al Ghazwani at the invitation of his counterpart Abdel Majid Taboun. The talks with Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian focused on ways and means to strengthen relations between the two countries and take advantage of opportunities offered by both sides to promote economic cooperation. Ramtan Lamamra and his Egyptian counterpart Samah Shukri reviewed the bilateral relations and the commitment of both parties to improve them to achieve the aspirations of the two brotherly peoples. Bilateral cooperation and the prospects of its expansion at all levels in the service of common interests were the focus of a meeting between Ramtan Lamamra and the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Nicaragua. The two sides discussed several regional and international issues of common interest to strengthen consensus or the positions of both countries in support of the objectives and principles of the UN Charter and just cause around the world. With the Indian Foreign Minister, discussions focused on relations between the two countries and ways to strengthen them, particularly in the economic field, in preparation for upcoming bilateral meetings, as well as on several international and regional issues, particularly those on the agenda of the Security Council. Discussions with Namibia's Head of Diplomacy, Natom Bonandi, in Daitwe, focused on bilateral relations, the regional situation in addition to the main issues raised at the African Union level. Both sides expressed satisfaction with the remarkable level of bilateral relations marked by mutual support and convergence of positions on regional and international issues. Ramtan Lamamra also held a meeting with the members of the Algerian delegation to the United Nations in order to encourage them to continue the work to protect the supreme interests of the country in application of the directives of the President of the Republic to consolidate the place of Algeria as a pivotal country on the regional and international levels. In a keynote speech, the head of the diplomacy said, quote, Algeria's objective through its participation is to mark its presence in force and make its voice heard, whether it is for its own activity or within the organizations, institutions and groups to which it belongs. You have seen the number of meetings that we have had and that we are still holding. Meetings with counterparts from different regions of the world of different status and qualities. Meetings with countries with which our relations are somewhat stagnant and which we want to revive. Today, Algeria, through its representatives of the United Nations, is called upon to have the greatest number of friends, to concretize and consolidate the friendship that already exists through professional action. You know that Algeria, compared to other North African countries, has a particularly with the various delegations. It is that it acts with integrity, sincerity and true friendship, and that Algeria is committed alongside its friends. A real commitment based on principles and not on narrow calculations. Each of you is called upon at the level of the different commissions, groups and the different working frameworks to make your qualities prevail." End of quote. Tugurt province is witnessing a development dynamism marked by the considerable progress of projects in different sectors, namely industrial investment. This region contains significant deposits of raw materials, a real lever for the development of the local and national economy. We manufacture tiles. Our company has a production capacity of 4,000 pieces per day. We have already exported to Tunisia, Mali and Niger and will soon export to Burkina Faso. Covering a total area of 719 hectares, spread over most of the municipalities, these investments should generate no less than 1,300 direct and indirect job opportunities. Tugurt province is still striving to face challenges and meet the local population's expectations through the implementation of structuring projects which will improve the living environment of the region's inhabitants. Following the President of the Republic's instructions and due to the current health crisis, Algeria is to produce its own vaccine as part of an Algerian-Chinese partnership. This project will allow us to produce 1 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine in October and will reach over 5 million doses by January 2022. 
The vaccine manufacturing project was assigned to Saidal, leader of pharmaceutical products, more precisely its unit in the province of Constantine. Following the decisions of our Sinovac partners, specialized technical teams from the Sinovac group will investigate the Constantine production plant. A joint sectoral commission was set up to supervise and coordinate the manufacturing project of the anti-COVID vaccine. According to its president, the vaccine's effectiveness has been scientifically proven. Competent nationals will be tasked with this ambitious project, likely to meet Algeria's need and even the possibility of exporting in the near future. 148 new confirmed cases of coronavirus and 10 new deaths were recorded during the last 24 hours in Algeria, while 115 people have recovered and have been discharged. This was announced by the health ministry. An awareness day on the importance of anti-COVID-19 vaccine was organized at Palm Beach in the province of Algiers by the association El Hayat. I find that raising the awareness of old and young people can be very beneficial. I was affected by COVID-19 and I had all the symptoms. Even at work, I was asked to get jabbed and that's what I did. Members of the Hayat Association, young volunteers, as well as nurses and doctors distributed awareness-raising booklets, providing transmission and prevention ways. The aim of this campaign is to encourage people to get inoculated, to achieve herd immunity and stem this pandemic. World Tourism Day will be celebrated on Monday, September 27th. On this occasion, a meeting was held at the headquarters of the National Tourist Office in partnership with Algeria Youth Ambassadors and the National Association for Orientation, Communication and Tourism Promotion, bringing together different executives from the sector in order to discuss different strategies to promote this sector. The government is focusing in its action plan on tourism and the culture economy as sectors promoting economic growth and is committed to developing a real tourism and cultural industry by encouraging investment in these areas. This strategy is based on encouraging tourism in Algeria by working alongside the foreign affairs and the interior ministries and all the sectors concerned by the promotion of our country and boosting tourism investment. In the province of Biskra, and more precisely in the municipality of Ziban, an excellent tourist region which attracts thousands of tourists every year, despite the slowdown recorded in the tourist activity recently due to COVID-19. Following the latest decisions aimed at facilitating the opening of travel agencies, several investors have embarked on this sector with significant tourist potentialities, consisting mainly of oases and old source or palaces. Biskra has become the perfect destination of Sahara lovers who come from all over Algeria and the world. This region is known for the hospitality of its inhabitants and for its variety in tourist and leisure sites, making it one of the favorite tourist destinations worth visiting.